Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to deploy your MuleSoft application into Cloud of 2.0. In our previous video, we have already explored what are the capabilities, what are the new features provided by Cloud of 2.0. We have also seen what is a shared space and private space. And we have also gone through when to use a shared space and when not to use. We have also seen when to use a private space and what are the benefits provided by Cloud of 2.0. Now, what we will do, we will try to deploy one sample application to Cloud of 2.0. So, for that, I can go to Runtime Manager, I can choose my environment, then I can click on application. So, basically, it will using the same console which used by the Cloud of, right? But you will see the difference in the target name basically. Right now, for application running on the Cloud Up, it just show Cloud Up. For application which is running in the hybrid mode, it will show that particular server name, right? So I'll click on this particular uh, blue button which is Deploy Application. Then within Deploy Application, you can see a multiple target. You can see Cloud Up 2.0, which is new. You can see cloud up click on cloud up so it's it's uh, like your old console old kind of console where you can select runtime worker size workers or all those then if you have any hybrid server so you can select those also so like currently i have registered two hybrid server like i have a two uh, mule runtime running on my own premises and i got i registered those server into my any point platform so but our target is to select cloud up 2.0 so by default uh, it's a trial version so you can see only one reason by default cloud of 2.0 support 12 region okay so i will select shared space now once you select the shared space you have to give the application name i can say order api okay then you have to choose the file so basically i have already have one jar file so where it is that jar file let me check on my desktop okay okay let me download that jar file if it's not there i will download it from my drive okay so that particular jar file is running on 8081. Let me download the jar file. Okay, that is scanning for right. That let's wait. So basically, uh, I'm just downloading my jar file, and that jar file have a HTTP listener, which is listening on port 8081. By default, Cloud of 2.0 support port 8081. Doesn't matter the traffic is coming on HTTP or traffic is coming on HTTPS. Okay. Let me choose like now you can select the application name. You can select the deployment target. So we have select deployment target as a cloud of 2.0 and US East region. I will choose the file. Either you can import from exchange if your jar file available. But for me, my jar file is available here. So I will just say order API HTTP. This particular API is listening on port 8081 on protocol HTTP. This is a simple application. Then you can select basically a runtime version so by default it just support 4.3.0 and 4.4.0 and you can select minimum of 0.1 v core and it also provide 0.2 v core 0.5 v core 1 v core 1.5 2. Point. so you can see more granular v core option if you see in cloud up uh, one or older version of cloud up we just have a 0 0.1 0 0.2 then 1 v core then 2 v core then 4 v core then 8 v core then 16 v cores and here maximum you can select four v cores for one replica so, but we will start with point two. So, if you see, I am just selecting one replica. And if you see, this particular option is disable run in runtime cluster mode. If you want to enable the clustering, it means you at least you require minimum of two replica. If I change this to two, this option will be enabled, right? But I will go with one. We will see this option later. And either you can select rolling update or recreate. Rolling update means in case if you are doing redeployment, it will happen with a zero downtime update. So in case of recreate, it will try to it will remove and stop the application and try to install a new version of your application. But I will go with a rolling update. Then you can see ingress. Once you deploy your application, it will give one endpoint, a public endpoint, which is HTTPS public endpoint that you can use to access the application. If you have any properties, key value pair. A runtime properties you can definitely define it here we will see later this all these options then you can apply the logging like if you want to apply any kind of login or anything we can see it here we can apply those packages here so let's we can like we go step by step like uh, i'm going to publish uh, many videos on this particular topic so but let's start by step by step now what i'm doing i'm deploying a simple application which is on like running on port 8081 and protocol http 
okay and we will see this ingress option last mile security forward ssl session everything we will say just let's just let's start with a small deployment first i will deploy the application till application is deploying i pause my video it take time guys welcome back and i can see my application has been successfully deployed to the cloud of 2.0 now you can see a target name that is the shared space in the cloud of 2.0 you can see my order api has been deployed the like let me refresh it yeah so order api has been deployed in shared space in cloud of 2.0 and you can see status is running for cloud of like you can see status is started for hybrid you can see the state uh, status is started but for cloud of 3.0 you can see the status is running okay so now how, how i can access my application even here, here you can see replicas one out of one replica is running click on this order api now if you go to ingress or if you can see this my this is my application url this is application name and some kind of guid has been generated automatically dot region dot cloud of dot io you can copy it from here also so this is your application you know host name i will click here definitely so it will give me error i have to put my resource path of your api this is api slash orders so i got a successful response from my api you can see that i got a successful response from my api let me enter again yeah let me enter again yeah this is good and this is very cool like you can see the application has been deployed very faster apart from say apart from that you can see the logs also can click on the logs it will tell all the logs uh, your application log if there's any error info like even you can just uh, you know filter on the basis of time and the logs level info warning error let me if i want to filter on errors so there is a no error if you want to filter on warning so there can be few there's only one warning which is fine and if there's any schedulers so you can see it here okay there's a settings logs you can see everything here basically okay so that is a good thing so apart also you can see some kind of diagnostic right now we don't have anything so let me go back to my application and in next video i will going to showcase how to enable the last mile security for your application in the cloud of 2.2 i hope you like the video and if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching